Army Arctic, RDECOM, and Army Mantec have teamed together with other government agencies to showcase additive manufacturing's applicability in the manufacturing of armaments. For the first time, this partnership has successfully additively manufactured and fired a grenade launcher and training round. The printed grenade launcher was modeled from the M203 and the training round from the M781. There are over 50 components in the M203. All components, aside from springs and fasteners, were additively manufactured. Parts with the same material were printed together to save time. 91% of the M203 parts were printed on a single build plate in 35 hours. Several different techniques were used to additively manufacture the M781 training round. The windscreen and cartridge case were printed directly using a direct fused deposition modeling approach. Traditionally, the projectile body is made of zinc and die cast. The zinc body is relatively soft and engages the rifling in the aluminum barrel. Four different additive approaches were used because the technology to print zinc has not yet been developed. The first approach was to print the projectile body in a softer alloy aluminum. The second approach was to modify the body with a groove, print it in steel, and then print a plastic obturating ring in the groove. The third approach was similar in that a groove was used. However, this time, a mold was quickly created from a selective laser sintering print and a urethane ring overmolded onto the steel body. The fourth approach was to wax print the projectile body and use the lost wax process to quickly make a zinc projectile body. Once fully assembled, live fire testing was conducted. The successful firing validates additive manufacturing maturation and applicability in the production of armaments. By using additive manufacturing, researchers and developers will be able to build and test their prototypes in a matter of days rather than months. Never before machinable, complex geometric designs to lighten, simplify, and optimize armaments are now feasible to manufacture. This will get new and improved products to the warfighter faster. Additive manufacturing is the future, and RDECOM Arctic is always a step ahead.